Hey, yo, Beans. Yo. What do you carry that thing for? Close encounter. bit of a treat for you guys today. I don't know if you've seen one of these before. It's the Mossberg 590 Shockwave. They got kind of a reputation. But all I can tell you for sure is that Ian's wrong. Go. Alright, check this out. Dude. <laughs> this is going to be pretty cool. Fucking cut. Oh my. <laughs> Fucking Ian was right. So as you know from the intro, this is a toy that I got a long time ago. And it's been in, in uh, one of the videos I've done, the abandoned farmhouse. And uh, it was a gift from my wife, not the most practical gun in the world. Uh, Ian is totally right in what they said about this. Uh, it's a fun toy. Except... I mean, if you, you practice a lot with it, you could hip fire if you see one. Yeah, shot. this is definitely, they were right. This is definitely a hip fire weapon. Uh, this retard bird's head grip that they advertise so much about, you'll notice like bird shot's not bad, right? So we were doing a seven and a half Winchester 12 gauge bird shot, right? Uh, not bad, right? It, you can do it over and over and over. The recoil is not horrible. The one-handing was that was bad. I had to like curve it to yeah, actually when I take shot the it, recoil. We shot we shot it yesterday, and I held, I had to hold it like kind of gangster style. On you do you, if you're doing one-handed for the memes. I don't know why you would. You've got to kind of you got to snoop dog it. You really do. It's, I mean, it's all, all it's good for is like five feet and like breaching a fucking door. Yeah, I can see if you need to get inside after your wife's locked you out. Uh, keep this in the truck and use that to shoot the, through the deadbolt and just like blow the frame out, kick it in. Yeah. We've all been there. Uh, I don't know about me. <laughs> but we took this thing snork hunting today. And as you can see, we're in the red forest. Birds are chirping. The toads are pissing, and yeah, we bagged a few. We bagged a few good ones. Unfortunately, what we had to use to bag them, hold that beanerino. We had to use slugs. The birdshot just wasn't doing it. Now, people, birdshot, completely useful for self-defense, home defense scenarios. Snorks, not so much. Bloodsuckers, not so much. You got to have the slugs. So, what we did want to show, just a few real shots. Loading, shooting, how it feels, and then we'll compare it to slugs. And you will notice, these are three inchers. Those are uh, these birdshot shells on the bandolier here. These are uh, two and three quarter. Uh, and this bandolier is just some cheapo little Amazon thing that's going to be used for a bandit 
LARPing build in the future. Uh, but we'll take care of getting these unboxed and loaded. We'll be back in a second. Come so, on. back out here. And I just want to show you guys. <clears throat> so we have a slug, 3 inch, and a 2 and 3 quarter inch of the uh, bird shot, 7 and a half shot. So, Beans has volunteered to uh, have his uh, wrist destroyed. And uh, it's really not that bad, but we just want to show you the difference. Uh, especially, you got to you got to shoot this from the hip. You really do. If you didn't, you would you're gonna have a bad time. That even hurt my hand doing it that way a little bit. I mean, so you can see, you obviously saw the difference <laughs> the on camera. Cut into my thumb. Yeah, I mean, lucky that there's a snork downrange. He's dead now, but you know, yeah. Yeah, it's it's pretty much a toy. It's not a um, tactical weapon. <laughs> surprise, surprise. Hey, beads, hold up. What? What is that? The Monet. That's the gun of Western Spy. Pocket. Eating time, Mr. Pocket. Mmm, nom nom nom. Oh! What are you doing? Yo, just getting some B roll, man. What the fuck? Fuck your B roll. I'm covered in mud! No toads were hurt in the filming of this review. Fucking pissed on me! <laughs> <laughs>